Hey guys, welcome to the channel. So today I am working on the Operation 11 Charlie, the TRX4 Sport build. I got the space heater going in the garage and I'm gonna see what I can do as far as getting the shocks, the links, and pretty much getting this thing done, at least the chassis done on this video. All right, so here are the shocks. These are actually very nice shocks. I do like these a lot. They work great and they really feel nice with the all aluminum body and even the plastics are nice and heavy. And basically all I need to do is fill them up with oil and put the springs on and these will be set. All right, the springs are assembled. I filled them with oil. Actually, I filled them with Axial 30 weight oil. The kit does come with uh, shock oil. I'm not sure what weight it is actually, but instead of opening it and not using it all and not being able to include it with the kit, I um, figured it would be easier just to leave it sealed, use some Axial 30 weight that I had on hand. This way I can ship a fresh new sealed container of shock oil to the recipient of this rig. All right, so just like that, the front is done. This can be a little tricky. There's a lot of different links. You gotta make sure you're putting the right links in the right spots. It does help if you have prior experience, but if you don't, it's not a problem. You can do it. You gotta just pay attention to the directions and it'll come together just fine. I didn't run into any issues while getting this together. It all went together really nice and smooth. Very happy with the way it's turning out so far. And I am moving on to the back to the rear axle and rear links. Before I move on though, I will just show a couple things. The shocks, they give suggested heights as far as the adjustments. There's also different springs for the front and the rear. The rear shocks have the orange stripe. The front shocks have the white stripe. At the bottom of the steps, you actually see the actual size, the one-to-one -one, say size of the link. So you can always compare it to the manual. Make sure you're putting on the right things at the right spots. One of the trickiest sections is right here with the pan hard upper link, steering link. They all look similar. They are a little bit different, each one of them, especially when you look at the steering link and the front upper link. The ball joints are different sizes. Not a big deal. Again, pay attention. Not a problem. And then everything just goes into place nice and easy. All right, so now, like I said, moving on to the rear. All right, and the rear is now done. Nice and easy. Four links go on nice and easy. Just gotta pay attention again to the manual, but really straightforward, and everything went together real nice. So now we're actually starting to look like a truck. All right, so moving right along, I'm actually gonna be doing the drive shafts. I'll get these all put together, get them on the truck, and this thing will start moving. Pretty exciting stuff. All right guys, so the drive shafts are put together. The new thing that people are pointing out is phasing. God forbid you don't phase and the YouTube community freaks out on you. All it basically means is that you just have the holes lined up. I mean, come on. But uh, yeah, so phase your shafts or else the YouTube community will kill you. Not literally, but they'll give you a thumbs down. So, ooh. All right, anyway, drive shafts are gonna go onto the rig. All right, so drive shafts are installed in phase. No one freak out. They're all set up and we can move on. Because I'm at this point now, I did check over the entire rig. I made sure I didn't miss any screws. I didn't screw up on anything. I wanted to make sure that everything was set up the right way. I actually didn't tighten down this receiver box yet because I do want to do one final test to make sure all the electronics, everything works once I get the tires on and once I put the rock lights on. So it does look like the tires are the next step. They show you putting them together in the manual. But out of the box, the rims are actually on the tire. They're not glued. It's not a problem. I do have CA glue. I use this Proline, this tire glue from Proline, and it's good stuff. Always holds the tires on nicely. My problem is I always glue my fingers together. So I'm gonna glue up the tires, try not to glue my fingers together, and uh, go from there. So, all right, all right, so the tires are glued. I did not glue my fingers together. I think I actually did not too bad. I 
use a little bit too much glue in some spots, but, but one thing's for sure, these tires will not come off of these rims. So I think actually while these are drying, I'm gonna move on and install the rock lights. This is part number 8026X. These are the rock lights. All you really have to do is pop off these little covers on the fenders and these rock lights will install right in. Once you get all these run, then all you have to do is plug them into the module and they should light up. So, gonna get them installed, gonna plug them in, and we'll see if they light up. All right, so the rock lights are in, the tires, the glue is still curing. All right, so now I'm gonna test out the lights and make sure everything works. And I guess the moment of truth, turn the radio on, turn the ESC on, and we're good to go. I'll turn my quote unquote studio lights off so you can see the rock lights. So very cool, the rock lights work and they'll definitely add a little bit of style to this truck. All right, so now I'm getting on to the just details of the chassis. It's the body posts and the bumpers. And with the inner fenders, they did include this piece here, which is for the body posts but there's only one, so I gotta figure out if the other one is in the bag. Maybe I only need one, we'll see. So let me get that opened up, see what's in there, and I can go from there. All right, so the other body post that I need is in that bag, so we're good to go. Just gonna follow the directions and get the bumpers and the body posts and everything else installed. All right, so the front bumpers are on. Pretty easy assembly. The faux winch, everything else. Rock sliders are on and the rear bumper is on. Everything is looking good. I pretty much am at a good point here. I think what I'm going to do is end this video. I have the tires curing, the glue is drying. So I'll give them a good 24 hours, let them set, and then I'll come back at it. Uh, next video, I will get the body, all the accessories, the snorkel, the roof rack, all that good stuff. Start working on that. All right, guys, so if you like what you saw, please click that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and have a great day. I will see you all soon.